Hey guys, a new study out from NAR showing what's going on with home buyers, and it's really, really powerful data. So when we look at home buyers, these 2000 group, what we found was that 52% of them had been pre-approved. So they've gone through the process and they're pre-approved. But when you look at the reverse of that number, that means 48% have not. So about half the buyers you're competing with when you're in a multiple offer situation are just pre-qualified. They're not pre-approved. Now you need to make sure that number one, you're having a conversation with your buyer about the importance of being pre-approved. And secondly, educating your sellers about the difference between the two, right? So one thing that I would encourage you to do is have a conversation with your buyers as a starting point. So here's what I would say with my buyers. I'd say, hey, you know, we're still in an extremely uh, low inventory market. Things are changing a little bit, but a few more listings coming to market, but still relatively low inventory market and still super high demand. So here's what I do to ensure that my buyers are a little bit more competitive because it's often when a listing sells, we still see a few multiple offer situations and that is to get you pre-approved. And here's what I mean by that. A lot of times buyers are just straight up too lazy to go through this process of being pre-approved. They get pre-qualified, which means they just talk to a lender on the phone for 10 minutes, tell them their income, tell them their bills. And they say, well, based on what you've told me, we're going to give you a pre qualification letter. But here's the thing, if I'm competing with five or 10 other offers and five of the buyers that we're competing with have a pre-approval letter, meaning they've gone through the entire process and they're approved, all we're waiting for is the home now to get approved. And then you have five buyers who are just pre-qualified. They're not fully gone through and been vetted. Guaranteed the seller is always going to cho uh, choose the pre-approved buyers, all things being equal. So Let's do the work. Let's just start you on that process because here's the deal. Once you find the home you want to buy, you're going to have to go through the approval process anyway. So by getting ahead of this curve, you're going to be in a much, much better negotiating position and be able to get in position to win these multiple bid offer, offer situations and potentially negotiate a better sale. How do you feel about that? That is a conversation we should be having with every single buyer. And when we don't do that, we're failing them and we're failing ourselves because we could lose out in these multiple offer situations. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great day. Good selling. Go shake that money tree.